this is David Rodecker. I wanted to briefly show um, how to identify a problem. We had identified that um, a perpetrator was scouring our website and uh, there we were at a loss of identifying how or where or whom. And uh, so I'm going to be starting with looking at our server, which is Microsoft IIS. And this, the website that we're looking at is relevant yellow. Now, noticing it's got logging enabled going to a drive with uh, all the log files and uh, there's several different log file entries to find out which one I want it's not exactly trivial unfortunately so you come here and you go to the advanced settings and it tells you the instance number is 13 so with that I know to look at WVC 13 and these are detailed log files of um, hits to the website. And the fields are, are all identified here. They're actually configurable. Um, but essentially, you have the date, uh, the IP requested, which is our server, what the method is. Most of these are going to be a get. And then the page that is being obtained, uh, the port. And then this is the, what I'm really interested in here, which is the IP address of the requestor and then there's the browser and header information and the status code and some other things. So essentially I want to, uh, my motivation is to find where we have a lot of requesters coming from one IP address. Um, that's typically going to be the behavior of someone that's scouring. So uh, let me get reconnected here. But the uh, problem is that all these files are uh, separated uh, for different days. So I first need to collect all of these into a single file. So I'm going to go ahead and, and look at a couple weeks because I know this has been happening um, at least for a couple of week period. So I'll take all these files and send it to um, a place I can deal with it. I've already done this and sent it to a uh, Linux machine. Um, I prefer to access and use the information um, in there for a few reasons. So I'm going to go ahead and reset the terminal. So I've taken the liberty of doing a few things, which was after I get the zip file, I need to concatenate all the files together. And that's a, a, a matter of taking all the log files and then outputting it to um, a new file. And uh, that new file is already here. And uh, it's called ry.log. <clears throat> so if I look at that, uh, actually, I'm going to do a more on it. More lets me paginate between the pages. And again, it's the same thing, uh, but I just have all the files wrapped up into one and uh, I can actually do uh, make sure I have a lot of data in that by looking at the um, the tail end of the file has you know my last date and I'm started in with the first date. I can actually look to see how long the file is too. It's uh, 200,000 records long in that period. We got about half a million hits in in the duration of a month. And uh, but what I want to get again is this field here and so if I want to just look to get that one I can notice that each field is separated by a space and so if I was to count the number of spaces this is field one two three four five six seven eight and this is field nine so what I'm going to do is run a field uh, a uh, feature called uh, cut so I'm going to look at the whole file. Cat is like concatenate. And I'm going to pipe that to cut. I want field 9 with the delimiter being a space. And then that's going to output a lot of results. So I want to pipe that to more so I can get that paginated. And notice that I'm just getting that one field out for every line. So control C to stop. Um, so that's nice. But now I want to aggregate these results together. And by doing to do that, I will first want to um, sort the results. Then I will 
run a uh, sorting them will just put them in order but then I want to run a command called unique um, and get a count and uh, again looking at that more and this will essentially look at the whole file take all those fields aggregate them together and identify the, the count next to each one so again pretty neat I've got um, I know for this particular IP here that it was in the log four times this one was in the log 189 times um, so what, lastly I think what I'll need to do is uh, sort that field so uh, I'll run sort again and run the slash n uh, which says that this is a numeric because otherwise it'll sort it as a string and let's see how that turns out Uh, so looks like it's doing it correctly. Um, I'm gonna have to scroll down quite a bit in order to get to the top of the list. So I'm gonna turn that around and sort it in reverse. Uh, <coughs> and then that should be my uh, top list of the most um, egregious IPs. So I uh, now see that um, among the top here is two IPs that are in the same class C scope. And um, if I then take that over to another place, um, I can see who might be hitting us a lot. And uh, coincidentally, or not so coincidentally, I see that uh, this is coming from a Philippines address and a very small scope at that, 160 to 167. So this is a small customer probably and uh, so not someone that I'm really interested in hitting our site the fact that they're coming from two IPs in this class same class C is even more concerning so um, there are also I've gone through and seen some of these and some of them are legitimate bots and others are not so uh, for each one of these we can take them to the side and find out you know who is this person and should they be doing what we want what they're hitting our site with again another IP that we don't want. So anyway, that's the A to Z um, of the manual way of getting the log files to see who's hitting your IIS website.